So we got a lot of people asking or give, offering advice after Heather talked about the skunk that was on her back porch. Mm -hmm. And so we were asking, you know, how do you deal with this? And I will say, I talked to Heather about this last night, and they have simply turned the light on. And since Ooh. then, they've not seen the skunk. But you don't want to encounter this guy in the middle of the night. People wrote in, Sue says, uh, use a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and baking soda and dishwashing soap. Patty says the tomato juice thing is a total myth. Like, if you get sprayed by it, yep. you're supposed to bathe in tomato juice. Janet says, turning on a light will work. Also, rags soaked in ammonia cut lemons are among the solutions to keep them away. So, thank you for weighing in. I know Heather doesn't really, I mean, she, she likes friendly visitors, Ooh, but this not that is one. not what you really yeah, want. No, thank you. Well, several people are also asking about David's squirrel. And Chris sent in a photo of some additional seating for the squirrel, David. Right, so Heather got us the. <laughs> Heather got us the picnic bench, and I have to say, since he devoured everything on the picnic bench, I've not seen our squirrel, but this is maybe him now. Oh, I think so. Uh, this yeah. is great. And then there's another picture, too, that uh, someone <laughs> sent in that we love because it's very timely and seasonable. Aww. So this apparently squirrels go trick or treating, too. Yes, they do. Yeah. Very cute squir squirrel. <laughs>